Hi guys, sorry for the jump scare. Oh my god, I think I look too crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and come back. Welcome to a new vlog. This is gonna be a week in my life. Today is actually Monday evening and I'm literally about to go to bed. But I thought I'd actually officially start this video on the first day of the week. Also, I have a 9 a.m. class tomorrow. I have 9 a.m. classes three days of the week, which it's kind of killing me because I love having my morning routines. So I thought I'd actually properly introduce this video. So I'm just doing my night care routine. I go in with this ordinary serum and then just the road moisturizer. But yeah, I had one class today at 9 a.m. <laughs> and I was exhausted. Oh my God, is that too much? Also semi-blind because I took out my contacts. But yeah, I've started two new classes, which are my electives. So I have digital analytics which is kind of cool. We're learning Python. I'm a little afraid for what's gonna come. And then I have another course called Media Strategies, which is super interesting. I'm gonna tell you guys more about it throughout this week, but I just wanted to start the vlog and I'm gonna see how much I feel tomorrow since I basically have another 9 a.m. class, like I said, which is the digital analytics class. I haven't fully finished the readings for tomorrow, but I'm currently trying to catch up because my first week was last week, but I came back from the US. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you might have seen, but I visited my twin brother. He studied in the US, but he graduated, so that's why I had to go. I had to. No, I really did. I couldn't miss it for the world, so flew to Boston, but his uni is actually in Vermont. Just, I think, four days, and obviously my sleep schedule was totally out of whack last week. This week is all about like catching up and scrambling, and then I have another situation with my thesis supervisor. <sighs> Anyways, I'm gonna update you guys about that. <laughs> some other time because I'm already getting a headache thinking about it and I need to go to sleep because I need to wake up at 7 latest tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and uh, I'm really excited for this week. It's also going to be Valentine's Day on Wednesday. So yeah, anyway, time, time for bed. Good morning. Currently getting ready for class. I'm so tired. I probably look exhausted. I don't know. The thing is, I do try my best to get to bed on time so that I at least get eight hours of sleep. But I don't know. I think in the winter I just need more or I take longer to fall asleep than I am aware of. I don't know. I've been wanting to get this ring called the Aura Ring. Maybe you guys have heard about it, but it's so freaking expensive. So not in the books for now, but apparently it's like the best sleep tracking app and it really tells you how good you're sleeping and all that stuff. I don't know, that's something I would be so intrigued by because I really value my sleep. If there's one thing I value, it's my sleep. I used to not prioritize my sleep at all and go to bed at like one in the morning, which for some might be still very normal. If that works for you, that's great. It does not work for me. I need a lot of sleep. Anyway, I really need to hurry up and rush. Marcus already made coffee, so I need to pick up my coffee. But I'm also just wearing a workout set to uni because I'm gonna work out later and I just, I thought I was gonna go home after my class, but I'm not. Anyway, we need to go, we need to go. But also, I always have been lighting a candle recently, even when I'm in a rush, just because it makes me feel calm. Got this new candle from Marcus for Christmas. Okay, but time to not be zen anymore. My go-to breakfast has just been yogurt, homemade granola, and some blueberries. So if I have extra time, I've been obsessed with eating oranges. I don't know why. <laughs> They're just so yummy right now. Breakfast is served. I love the granola I make. I will include it in a video at some point. Okay, I'm ready to head to uni. I'm actually on time today. Yesterday I wasn't. I got this new yellowish coat. I don't know if you can see in this light and I really like it. My favorite, oh no, now I feel like it's even harder to see. But my favorite color is this baby yellow. Oh, I look so shiny from my sunscreen. Anyway, we are off now. Oh, I can't forget my bike lights. Very important in Amsterdam where you get fined like a hundred euros or something crazy like that. Probably, I don't know, maybe more. <sighs> yeah, anyway, it's 8.30 now, which is my time, or 8.31. Anyway, bye, hun. Bye, love
done with studying for the day. I'm just going to grab my bike. I'm gonna meet Galia because she lives really close to campus now. Galia's here, or I'm here. <laughs> Galia's cute apartment. I haven't showed all oh, the flowers. Yeah, I haven't yeah. showed on my YouTube. So pretty. This is Galia. We have been besties since we started uni. Yeah, it's been four years or five. No, this is our really? year. Oh my god, it's been five years. Anyway, we're gonna chill. We always do this, and then we go to road cycle. Exactly. It's our thing. It's our thing. <laughs> I just got home from Rose Cycle and I need a shower. My hair looks crazy, but Marcus already started prepping some food because he's also at his workout class. So I'm gonna finish that now before I go shower. I'm also gonna call my grandma because I promised I'd call her today. Also, I got a really exciting package. I think it's the ordinary PR, which I'm so happy about. So we're gonna open that later. Also, I hope you guys can hear me well, but the fan is on. Anyway, I'm gonna place you guys here while I do my thing. Sorry, I feel like I'm so bad at multitasking. I had my thesis supervision session. Basically, I had another supervisor before, but she informed me very quickly that actually she was gonna be too busy to supervise me. So for like two weeks, I had no thesis supervisor and I was kind of getting stressed. So I had that meeting with my supervisor and he's super nice, so that's great. Then, yeah, I had my digital analytic class. I still have to do some work because tomorrow is a really exciting day. It's Valentine's Day, but also, Jornborg is hosting another event. If you watch my video from December, go watch that video. They hosted an event in December and that was really fun. And this time it's like a Valentine's Day couple event. Anyway, I should be focusing on cooking and calling my grandma. That's happening tomorrow and then Marcus really wanted to just have a cozy dinner at home for Valentine's Day. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going out for dinner on Thursday. I'm gonna call my grandma now. So let's see if she answers. I love my grandma, she's the cutest. Who just got home. Okay. Apparently I'm doing a good job because for those that don't know, I'm actually not the chef in this household. Chef is standing behind me. But apparently I'm doing okay, right? Looks good. Smells good. Yeah, okay, wait, shit, now I'm getting distracted. This in. We're making, what are we making actually? Uh, paella, paella. but not really Yeah, fake traditional paella. fake paella. But really good paella. I should start filming us cooking. But anyway, That's my okay. grandma didn't answer. She's, she's, too, got she's, things she's too cool for me, honestly. I'm gonna try and call her again. Hi, Oma. Hello, Natalie. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I am. Yeah, of course. I just finished calling my grandma. We're gonna have dinner now. It looks fire. It's amazing. What are you talking about? Marcus just said, I don't know if it looks that fire. It looks so good. We just finished up dinner and I'm gonna have a shower now. I'm just quickly sitting on the couch and doing my Duolingo. Pretty proud of my streak. I've been trying to learn Danish because Marcus actually knows how to speak German since we lived in Vienna. So obviously I feel the need to learn German now. German, Danish, I can speak German. I'm gonna finish this up and then take a shower. And there you have it. Honestly, this is your sign to just start a Duolingo streak. Just do it five minutes a day. I just randomly started on a random Wednesday because I was like, I'm gonna start this. And now I'm at 277 days of learning Danish. And I actually feel like when I'm around Marcus's family that I can kind of understand a few things and like speak basic things. So yeah. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna get ready for bed in just a second because I'm exhausted from today. But I realized I didn't show you what's in here. So let's unbox it together. As I thought from The Ordinary, I think they have a new serum or something, which is exciting because I love their serums. Here it is. It says apply a few drops in the morning and evening. ran out of my other ordinary serum so this came in time perfectly Ooh, it feels really cold on the skin i really like the consistency anyway thank you the ordinary i see you guys tomorrow for a really exciting day can't wait i feel like tomorrow is going to be my fun day thursday is going to be my hectic day because i have two classes and then me and marcus are going for dinner and i have another event but you guys are going to see all of that in this vlog
Good morning, it's Wednesday. I've been up for around an hour. It's eight-ish and I'm getting ready to meet Miriam, one of my friends here at Amsterdam. She also does social media. Actually having a meeting with a cafe because we might host an event there for our Amsterdam girlies community. Oh, don't play with fire. <laughs> I love this candle. Lighting a candle in the morning, honestly, is the easiest thing you can do to put yourself in a good mood. Anyway, I don't think I've ever talked about Amsterdam Girlies on YouTube, but basically it's this community that me and three other girls created to connect just like-minded girls who don't have to be based in Amsterdam, but all our events will be in Amsterdam. And we just thought it would be fun to create a little community and just do fun events. So maybe the event will have already happened by the time this video is up. This cafe we're going to is called Nook Cafe, or maybe just Nook. And they also have a wine bar kind of in their cafe. So we thought of turning that into kind of an event space and doing a little girls wine night. But so we're gonna pitch that idea to them where we've already kind of been in contact with them. So now it's just about actually setting a date but yeah, it's also Valentine's Day and the Bjorn Borg event is happening after we meet with the cafe I'm Putting on some eye patches this morning since I've had like no time to do that on the days I have uni I still have a uni assignment also to get done actually well, two things for both my classes for digital analytics and media strategies until tomorrow and I don't know when I'll have time for that. I tried to grind yesterday at the library and I got half of my digital analytics done. I feel like I keep saying the same thing about it, but it's basically just an intro course to Python. We're just learning the like most basic commands. It's also cool because we learn about kind of the theory behind, I guess, all things, not all things computer science, but for example, we learn about data mining and just also the ethics of algorithms and things like that and how you can kind of get into some tricky territory sometimes also regarding data and privacy so that's cool I think I'm very good at learning theory and being able to apply it but the coding part I <laughs> Don't feel super confident in, but I also have used our studio before for my thesis and I kind of enjoyed it. That's why I was like, let's challenge myself and push myself to do something that I usually wouldn't do. So yeah, we're gonna see how it goes, but also what gives me confidence, which maybe I should rely on, well, I'm not gonna rely on Marcus, but he studies computer science, so if I'm ever stuck, he can kind of help me, which is great. Lights are on. I'm gonna make some breakfast now. It's a headlight, it's an I'm on my way now. I've been obsessed with wearing my yellow coat. Hopefully the weather holds out because it looks really rainy out. I just arrived at Miriam's place. I think she's coming down in just a second. It's kind of drizzly, but really warm, which is actually I don't, well, I don't like that it's drizzling, but the fact that it's getting warm is making me happy because I feel like spring is just around the corner. Okay, I hear Miriam coming. She's like sprinting down the stairs. <laughs> she's like sprinting. <laughs> It's you! Oh my God. <laughs> I heard you like sprinting down the stairs, like thump, 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 thump. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard like run, run, run. Going to clay coffee first. Drink. Coffee girl. I think it's really cute. Matcha girl. Oh, mine is. We're cut off. <laughs> oh yeah, the I forgot about this. Oh my God. Uh, it's a little snack before our meeting. Mmm. Pretty good. So good. Mm -hmm. I've never had anything like this, like pumpkin, it's like mm -hmm. pumpkin banana bread. Mm -hmm. Workout time. Mm -hmm. Oh, my buddy is not in the zone. <laughs> Are we gonna win or what? <laughs> We're gonna win. It's not fair, you have a guy. This song will be divided. I'm gonna explain to you each zone. Go, Mimi! Yeah. Are we feeling dead? Workout girls. <laughs> Hi, 
just ran into, what are your names? My name is Barella. Vincent. And you guys are in Amsterdam for... Exchange semester. Exchange semester. And be yeah. following her. Yeah, oh. my favorite Amsterdam influencer. Oh, that's so yeah. sweet. Just and I got home. I took a little nap and shower because I was so exhausted from that workout. How did you find the workout? It was all right. It was all right? They had this like kind of challenge thing, but we didn't win. And we're really competitive, but oh well. <laughs> Marcus has convinced people cheated. You said so. <laughs> That's true. I said so too. Um, um, <laughs> starting to get a off, which is really not good. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what Marcus made for Valentine's Day dinner. First of all, Marcus picked up some oysters. I told him not to get any flowers. He was gonna get me some roses, but then I was like, we have enough flowers. <laughs> you can get me roses next week. But yeah, this looks so good. We are big seafood fans. It's Thursday morning. I'm so exhausted. I had to stay up kind of late last night after the event to get some work done. And I feel like I'm getting sick, which is really annoying. I have my digital analytics class at 9 in the morning right now. It's 7.48. I've been up since 6-ish getting my assignment done. Not fully done yet, but I asked Marcus to kind of like look over it. Some of my code isn't running. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I feel like Friday is gonna be my chill day of just being at home, not doing much. Well, I have a lot to do, but I'm not waking up so early or just I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Me and Marcus are going out for dinner, so, but it's at 6.30, so probably we'll be home by like nine-ish and then I'm just gonna pass out. But now I'm just quickly getting ready. I've decided that I'm taking the metro today because it's kind of raining and I'm just too tired and not in the mood <laughs> to bike. Anyway, I forget where, what I was saying, but Marcus is going over why some of my code isn't running. And then after that class, I have my media strategies class. And I'm gonna rush home because during my break, I'm gonna like do the work that I didn't do for my media strategies class. And then I'm going to go to an event and then meet Marcus for dinner who's sitting right here and being so kind and looking through my code. It's still super dark. I cannot wait for the summer, but look how rainy it is. So I'm absolutely not gonna be biking today. <laughs> Time to make the bed and she's looking nice and cozy. Honestly, I just wanna go back into bed. <laughs> and I'm late to class, but oh well. Hi guys, I just had a short little nap. I got back home from uni like an hour ago, but I just realized, I don't know, you guys can't see that, but it's 4.30 and I have an event at five. So I really need to get up now and actually look okay for this event. <laughs> I had a really busy uni day at my digital analytics class in the morning. Let me sit up so I don't fall back asleep. And then I had a quick lunch break, studied in the library a little bit, and did the work that I had to do for my media strategies class, which was from 1 to 3. But yeah, I really should start getting ready for the event now and start getting dressed. Anyway, and I'm meeting Karina there. I need to pick an outfit. Then Marcus and I are going to dinner right after because our dinner reservation is at 6.30. And Marcus is over there working like he always is. I'm gonna check back in when I actually look more put together. Okay, just got ready really quickly. Place you guys over here. Okay, the lighting sucks. But just wearing some gray jeans and my go-to top that I got from Revolve. And the makeup looks okay and the hair is okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys at the event.
I had to get another cocktail because it was so good. Marcus got a sweet wine. It's Friday, ready to in the afternoon. I've just had a really relaxing day at home. I've been cleaning up. I have a pile of laundry that I need to fold. Just doing emails. I slept in because I really, really needed it. But the event was super nice yesterday. I got a little goodie bag. I don't even think I really showed what I got. So I think I'm gonna show you while I make some coffee because I have not had any coffee today. And then I think I'm gonna do a bit of self-care. I'm gonna put in a hair mask, put on a face mask, and then go on a run. But let me show you what I got from Diptyque. First of all, this was the main thing that they were doing. Just got my name engraved on a perfume. I don't know if you can really see that. Oh, and it smells so good. And then they just gave me a bunch of little testers to try. A little perfume. And I think one of them is a hair mist or something. And then this is probably my favorite thing. A mini candle. How cute is that? Thank you, Diptyque. I am obsessed with you. So yay. Let's make some coffee now. And I present to you my latte art. I'm actually really proud of this. Cheers. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. And then finish my self-care Friday. This is the semi self-care setup. I always start off with the scalp treatment. I'm just kind of... I'm not really so precise about it. I just kind of get it all over my scalp and then I massage it in. Okay, next step. This is an old conditioner spray and I just put water in it because I like my hair being kind of damp when I put on the hair mask. Basically what I like to do is use the hair oil as well and just mix it in. So I have such dry hair. Like I have dry skin, I have dry hair. Especially in the winter, I get dry patches on my skin. My lips get so dry. Okay, I think we're good. Now I'm just gonna slick it back into a braid or a bun. Okay, I'm gonna finally tackle this pile of laundry. I decided to just put on eye patches because when I clean up, this is a cleanup hack, or I don't know, this is how I make my cleanups fun. I just put on my headphones, listen to a podcast or a high beat playlist, and then yeah, that gets me going. But I just wanted to quickly show you these cute little pouches that I just received. The doorbell just rang, but they're from Alola, and I love little pouches like this. And look at the inside. I got the sweetest little note from the girl who makes them in German, which if you know me, I'm such a like, note or letter or card kind of girl. I love when people just do handwritten messages and they also have little accessories. Can't wait to start using this to pull back my hair. Also this little hair tie. So thank you so much. Her name is Lisa. So yeah, let's get to cleaning up now. I think I'm just gonna time lapse this and check in with you guys when I'm done with this whole pile here. I already put away a few things, but I'm done folding. So I decided that I am gonna be going for a run. It's starting to get dark out, so I'm gonna leave in just a second. I just felt like I had to stretch out because I've been feeling so sore. I got really sore from that Bjorn Borg event. I guess I just didn't stretch properly after. So I'm just gonna go on a really chill run and then have a nice shower and honestly go to bed. Like have dinner and go to bed, read and go to bed. Running fit check. I love this headband for the colder months. It has like fleece inside because my ears always get so cold. Just wearing this jacket from Aloe. These leggings. I just have these Nike running shoes. So yeah. I just got out of such a nice warm shower, putting on a sheet mask. Here we go, a bit harder than I expected. I basically, I'm ending this vlog with how it started. There we go, oh, this feels so good. I look crazy, so I think this is a good place to end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for all the support. It honestly means so much, like it's still so crazy to me that my YouTube grew so fast and it's obviously all thanks to you guys okay i can't take myself seriously <laughs> with this mask on so love you guys and i will see you in my next vlog
bye